When overclocking legend Jamino published his most recent results, hitting 5.15 GHz all core on a Ryzen 9 5900X. For me, the interesting part wasn't the overclock he reached, but his comments about temperature and power consumption, because the CPU he used was based on the new Zen 3 B2 stepping. Let's take a look at what this new B2 stepping actually is, what changes it brings, and why AMD is updating Zen 3 chiplets so late in the product cycle. <laughs> Rumors about a new B2 stepping for Zen 3 have been flying around for quite a while now. I first read about it in a tweet from leaker Patrick Schur in May of last year. The speculation surrounding this new stepping got pretty heated. Some even talked about a Ryzen 5000 XT series to counter all the lake. In a official comment to the website Benchmark.pl, AMD stated the following. As a part of our continued effort to expand our manufacturing and logistic capabilities, AMD will gradually move AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop processors to B2 revisions over the next 6 months. The revision does not bring improvements in terms of functionality or performance. Furthermore, no BIOS update will be required. If it doesn't improve functionality or performance, then what does it offer? A new stepping might be just introduced to increase yield, but Zen 3 already had great yields and TSMC 7 nanometer process was running almost flawlessly. Now keep in mind that this was before we knew about Zen 3D and when AMD made the surprise announcement back at Computex of 2021, my first thought was that the B2 stepping probably has something to do with Zen 3D, maybe preparing the base chiplet for the 3D stacking process. And I probably wasn't that far off. But before we get to what I think the purpose of the B2 stepping is, we first have to talk about what a stepping even is. Chips are manufactured using blueprints, so-called masks. These masks are used to imprint the building blocks onto the silicon wafer and the process has two different stages. One is the so-called base silicon layer, which creates the logic elements like the transistors. The other one is the metal layer, which forms the electrical connections between the logic elements. Of course, this is a really simplified explanation, but all you need to know is that there is a silicon and a metal layer. The codes you often see attached to a certain chip are referring to the revisions of the silicon and the metal layer. It's a combination of a letter, which refers to the silicon layer, and a number, that's the metal layer revision. When the silicon layer changes, the metal layer also has to change. So for example, if you go from A0 to B0, both layers have changed. But you can also change the metal layer independently, and in this case, only the number changes. When Zen 3 was introduced, the release stepping was B0, which means there was only one major base silicon layer revision before it was production ready. The introduction of a new B2 stepping indicates that the silicon layer hasn't been touched, which is in line with AMD's claims that performance and functionality hasn't changed at all. What has changed is the metal layer, the interconnectivity between the logic elements of the chip. And AMD not only changed it once, which would have been the B1 stepping, but twice, thus the B2 name. A optimized metal layer is done to improve the electrical properties of the chip and in turn might allow for higher switching speeds and more efficient operation. At the beginning of the video I mentioned that overclocker Shamino had some positive remarks about the B2 stepping overclocks. Let's take a look at what he said. Shamino found that compared to a B0 stepping chip, his B2 stepping CPU was 9 degrees cooler, consumed 30 watts less power and clocked about 60 MHz faster while running Prime95. Of course these numbers can fluctuate from chip to chip, but he has first hand knowledge of probably dozens of different of chips, so his experience carries a lot of weight. And it's in line with what a metal layer spin is able to achieve. The optimized electrical properties allow the chip to operate more efficiently, which leads to lower power consumption, which in turn lowers the operating temperature, and leave more room for a slightly higher clock speed. You won't notice a performance difference since 60 MHz don't do anything and the silicon layer hasn't changed, but it creates a more efficient CPU. The question is, why would AMD introduce a new stepping over a year after the launch of Zen 3, when Zen 3D is closing in and Zen 4 isn't that far away either? I am certain that the B2 stepping wasn't designed to improve yields or to counter all the lake. Its purpose is focused on the epic server CPUs from AMD. The CPU Shamino tested was a Ryzen 9 5900X. It has only two chiplets and they aren't even fully active. But epic server CPUs go up to eight fully enabled chiplets with up to 64 cores. If the B2 stepping reduces the power draw of a Ryzen CPU, CPU by up to 30 watts. Just imagine how much of an impact it must have on a server CPU with four times as many CPU chiplets. A B2 stepping Epic CPU could offer substantial power savings over the BO stepping. And let's not forget Zen 3D. 
Yes, AMD only announced a single product for the consumer, the Ryzen 7 5800X3D. But in the server space, Milan X-based Epic CPU started to ship in late 2021, and there are plenty of different models. With Intel Sapphire Rapid probably delayed even further, AMD is expanding their performance lead and they will ship these new CPUs for quite a while. A interesting part of the Zen 3D announcement was the fact that the 5800X 3D will come with lower clock speeds compared to the normal 5800X. In an interview with PC World, AMD's Frank Azer said this reduction in clock speed was to make sure the added 3D recache would still fit within the original TDP of the base product. And it does make sense. If you add extra stacked cache onto a Zen 3 chiplet, you will increase its power draw because you have more chip to power and the stacked bills also doesn't help with thermals. If that's the case with a single chiplet 5800X3D, can you imagine the impact 3D recache has on an Epic with 8 fully active chiplets? That's where the P2 stepping comes in, offering a slightly more efficient Zen 3 base chiplet. Even without stack cache, it enables power savings, but it will truly shine when combined with 3D recache. It might even be a requirement for Zen 3D. I don't think we will see a BO stepping based Zen 3D chiplet. The only reason the B2 stepping is being produced for retail Ryzen CPUs is because AMD uses the same chiplets in all of their CPUs, be it for consumer or the server space. At some point, all production lines are switched to the new stepping, and from that point on, new Ryzen 5000 CPUs will also come in the B2 flavor. It might not be as impactful as with the Epic CPUs, but it's a nice to have. If you already own a B0 stepping Ryzen CPU, you don't need to worry because the base silicon layer hasn't changed a bit and it's still the exact same CPU when it comes to functionality and performance. AMD is continuously optimizing their process with their partner TSMC and a new product like the 3D Recache is planned way in advance. The B2 stepping most likely was part of that development process and now everyone who buys a brand new Ryzen 5000 is able to reap some of its benefits. There are some claims that CPUs starting from week 47 of 2021 might be B2 based, but that's not confirmed. Let's see if we get some more info about how to detect if a CPU is based on the new stepping without installing it into a main board and running CPU set. That's my take on the new B2 stepping. As always, if you found this video interesting, please give it a like, it really helps the channel. Subscribe for more content and see you in the next video.